I am concerned about the heat wave for the dog's sake. Um, later in the day, my dogs usually get really tired really fast and they'll be playing for like maybe 15 minutes and then after that they're wiped and they're laying down sometimes i'll be walking lucy back home and she just stops like in the grass because she needs a minute lots of water breaks of course um this other dog i'm walking will we usually have an hour walk but right now we'll do like 20 minutes and then just play inside the rest of the time because it's just too hot It's very hard for me to like feel okay. Like I'm just constantly wiping my forehead and trying to stay in the shade for the most part. Um, and like with the dogs, I'll bring like a cold water bottle just in case like the water provided at the park isn't enough. So I can't imagine what it would be like to have a bunch of fur. I feel like that would be miserable to be a dog. And I'm here with my dogs, Ruby and Bandit, trying to beat the heat a little bit. Um, they love splashing in the pool. There goes Bandit right there. It's much better than, you know, just walking around in the heat. It definitely changes uh, the way I look at my day because it's, it's just hot and it just brings like a different level of like concern to like even for me being outside because I work for like eight nine hours outside all day and so I have to prepare myself and then also like constantly keep an eye on my dogs as opposed to like a spring day when it's just like you can just walk without any of those like concerns <laughs> I always like urge like my clients and other walkers to be mindful of dogs with heat exhaustion um, and just like you know making sure they get enough water they're not outside for too long and watching out for the sidewalks they get so hot when they're in direct sunlight that they can burn their paws and Thank you.